If you love the Supreme, then you know how much we love our animals. One of the most unique types of animals is the mammal, categorized as a warm-blooded vertebrate animal, one that typically has hair or fur and usually gives live births to their young. Settle in because today we're going over the 10 rarest mammals on the planet. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Three-toed sloth. Our first rare mammal can be found in some of the most tropical forests in the world. The slow-moving, but ever graceful, three-toed sloth. The pygmy tree-toed sloth is one of the world's most endangered animals, as recent studies say that there are less than 100 individuals left on Earth. This particular species lives on one island just off the coast of Panama. Sloths are famous for two things. One, moving super slow. In fact, the three-toed sloth is technically the world's slowest moving mammal clocking an average speed of just 0.15 miles per hour. It's a wonder that these things ever get to where they're trying to go. And two, hanging upside down high in the treetops. They use their toes, or what really are just the three long and strong claws attached to them. Their ability to cling and hang on to branches is unrivaled, and their grip is so strong that even when they've been taken out by a poacher, they're still clinging on to the tree branch even after death. There are four types of three-toed sloths, the brown-throated, the pygmy, the maned, and the pale-throated. <laughs> Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat Our next rare and thus endangered mammal on today's countdown is the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat. Reports say that there may only be 115 of these animals left in the wild. Of the three Australian wombat species, the Hairy-Nosed is the largest. A wombat is a short-legged, short-furred marsupial native to Australia, and in short, they're built for digging. They've got strong claws on their wide feet and use them to burrow into the ground. A single wombat can create a burrow that's up to 100 feet wide and 10 feet underground. Here's a fun and maybe gross fact about the northern hairy-nosed wombat. Like other wombats, their poop is rectangular. Yes, rectangular poop. Now, this seems to be an adaption. The animal marks its territory with the droppings, including sometimes even placing it onto logs and tree branches. Since the poop is rectangular and not round, it cannot roll off of wherever it was placed. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, maybe not really. Red-crested tree rat. Up next, how about a mammal that's so rare that it wasn't seen for more than 113 years? The red-crested tree rat is native to Colombia and was recently spotted for the first time since 1898. The animal, which is about the size of your average guinea pig, has a red patch of fur on its head, and on the back end, there's a long black and white tail that's pretty fuzzy. The animal was seen by a couple of volunteers who were working at the Columbia Nature Reserve, a place dedicated to protecting some of the rarest animals in all of Colombia. The animal is so rare that the preferences and actual habitat requirements for this creature aren't even known. We just know that they're typically found in tropical regions. Hainan Gibbon, the rarest and thus probably most unknown primate in the world is the Hainan gibbons, with the latest known report suggesting that there are only about 23 of these animals left in the world. Contrast that to their numbers in the 1950s when there were about 2,000. These animals are only found on one tropical island on China's south side. The Hainan gibbon, just like many of the world's primates, are falling victim to the mass deforestation that continues to eat away at the world's forests. They're also known to be hunted by humans for food or the illegal black market trade for rare animals. For the record, Hainan gibbons are classified as apes, not monkeys. 
monkeys have tails. Apes, like Hainan Gibbons, don't. Cuban Greater Funnel-Eared Bat The only flying mammal on Earth is the bat, and the rarest bat in all the world is the Cuban Greater Funnel-Eared Bat, and one look at it and you'll know exactly why it's called that. There are less than 100 Cuban Greater Funnel-Eared Bats left in the world, and they're all confined in Cueva La Barca down in Cuba. Just like the Hainan Gibbon, this bat is also losing its natural habitats due to human destruction. The animal was actually thought to be extinct and was only physically known through the study of fossils. But in 1992, they were rediscovered near a remote cave in Cuba, as researchers say that the Cuban greater funnel-eared bat, quote, came back from the dead. Vaquita up next, we've got an underwater entry on our countdown that just so happens to be the world's smallest cetacean, which is made up by whales, dolphins, and porpoises. They reach only up to about four or five feet in length and occupy a region located in the extreme northern part of the Gulf of California down in Mexico. The latest official count was in 2018, when there were just 22 individual vaquitas left in the world. However, those same experts suggest that there may only now be about 10 swimming around right now. This is the world's most rare mammal that lives in the water. The little porpoise was only discovered in 1958, and it's a shame that only 50 plus years later, we see the vaquitas on the literal brink of extinction. <laughs> Greater Bamboo Lemur Let's get back onto dry land and talk about the greater bamboo lemur. A lemur kind of looks like a monkey, but they're technically prosimian primates, which are part of the primate family, but are neither monkeys nor apes. With more than 100 different species of lemur in the world, there are only roughly 100 individual greater bamboo lemurs left in the southeastern and south central rainforest in Madagascar. They love to feast on bamboo, and suffer from slash and burn agriculture, where hundreds of acres of vegetation are cut down and burned off before the lying seeds are able to sow. Bamboo cutting has also devastated the species. The greater bamboo lemur is almost completely dependent on the plant. Anyway, these little guys are kind of cute, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Soala. Up next, we've got an animal so rare that it wasn't even discovered until 1992. The Sawala is native to the Annamite Mountains on the border of Laos and Vietnam. It's one of the rarest large animals in the world, and while they look kind of like an antelope, they're closer in relation to cows and buffalo. Their appearance is majestic with their long curving horns and has earned them the nickname the Asian Unicorn. The animal went more than 15 years between sightings on camera and was last captured by a camera trap set up by the World Wildlife Fund and the Vietnamese government. It's certainly rare that an animal of this size, up to around 220 pounds, could be this evasive. But to be fair, that also means that the global population is very slim, with estimates being just around 250 to 300 wild sawala left in the world. <laughs> Tonkin Snub-Nosed Monkey Our third and final primate on today's countdown is the Tonkin Snub-Nosed Monkey. These cute little fellas are native to northeastern Vietnam and were considered extinct until they were rediscovered in 1989. Found only in subtropical areas, estimates put this primate at having less than 250 individuals left in the wild. This is Vietnam's largest non-human primate, and males can weigh up to 30 pounds. The name snub-nosed aptly applies, as there's a small, upturned nose that sits in the center of the monkey's face. The color combination of the fur, the white and black splashed with orange around the animal's face, is also very distinctive. Pika and to round out today's countdown, we've got perhaps the smallest entry on today's list, the pika.
These little guys live in the Tian Shan mountain range in China and was also only discovered in 1983. The pika is little, only reaching about 8 inches in length. They've been having a tough go at life over the last couple of decades due to climate change. The pika love to live among the sloping rocks of mountains, but the grass that they depend on has been disappearing, forcing the tiny mammals higher and higher into the mountaintops. Because of this, there are only around 1,000 individuals left. There is also an American version of the animal, found in the mountains occupying the western portion of North America and Canada. These animals are also quickly disappearing. If there's one thing that we've learned today, it's that mammals found all over the world can be extremely cute. But also, it's kind of sad that so many beautiful creatures may soon never be seen or heard from again in their natural habitats. You just watched the 10 rarest mammals on the planet. Thanks for kicking back with the Supreme. We'll see you next time.